That's word of mouth. That's word of mouth, nigga. Oh, shit. Word of mouth, bruh. Smoke, 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 smoke it up. Smoke it up. So what the fuck you talking about? What you talking about? I get my weed from the west side. I say, bitch, I'm from Dallas. This shit turned to a habit. Don't wanna say I'm addicted, but fuck it, I gotta have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had too much on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to In the Yo, baby. We here. Yeah, we here. We are live again. You did. How y'all doing? Make sure everybody blessed. You did. We got a real special guest in the building. We got. Yeah, yeah. Here we go, brother Shaw, the man, yeah. Devontae Peters, the man. You did, you did. Give, give the people a little bit about yourself real quick, Devontae, just so they know who you are from your own perspective, from your words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm a young brother out here, you know, making a difference, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I ain't say trying to make a difference, but yeah, out here making are. a difference, you, you know are. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Saying? Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just to, you know, community organizer. You know, I do things out here on the grassroots level in the streets. Outside of that, I'm a musician, an artist. Um, I also own a health store. You know, uh, in Oak Cliff, name the Alkaline Hour. So, mm. you know, yeah. 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 What, yeah, that's 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 the best thing you can do that's right dope. there. Yeah, just give it all right there. Now that that's a lot that's right dope. there to unpack for the people. You said you uh, you own an Alkaline store. Own. You're a musician. Yeah. As well as you a grassroots movement person who's out there for them. All right. Say it like that. So, so we, right. we, let's 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 start at the let's let's start with the first one. The uh, the alkaline store, all right. So this is uh for those who don't understand alkaline and how it works, because I know, definitely don't. Yeah, let's be let let's be honest. Cause, you know we all are ignorant to some subjects. How does how how is alkaline um, fit in, or how does it fit in with what we trying to do as people, a person, period, any type the of the human body. Yeah, the human body. Right. So. Uh, when we deal with the body, you know, and mm-hmm. what we put in the body, uh, things are composed of chemicals, you know. Right. And uh, when we deal with chemicals, uh, they're either acidic, you know, in nature, or they're alkaline in nature. Right. So when you eat acidic foods, like uh, primarily, you know, the stuff we raised up on, uh, the American diet, things of that nature, or uh, acidic foods, they deteriorate the body. Just like acid sounds like it. Like, like what's a, what's a, what's an acidic food? Like um, citrus, like fruits, like oranges well, and shit. Um, you know, more so like like uh, meat is highly acid, uh, ah, a, a okay. acidic. Okay. Meat, dairy, cheese. Um, you know, you could say citrus and stuff, but uh, it's not. Uh, you know, as acidic as meat. you know, meat and milk and right. stuff like that. You know, I, I know. Um, and, and stuff like that deteriorates your bones. You know, your body, uh, it keeps it in a, a, a state that, you know, viruses and parasites and, you know, different health issues, uh, they maintain maintain themselves in that environment. Right. And, you know, the opposite of that happens when you eat uh, alkaline foods or alkalizing foods, you know. Okay. Um, you know, they repair the body. They keep the bo- your body in a state that where it, it helps fight off viruses and uh, different, you know, ailments that they tell us is irreversible, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, and we're not talking about alkaline water. You know, alkaline water is unnaturally alkaline. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, you know. And they add shit in it to make to make it balance. Yeah, like they got like a machine. You know what I'm that saying? To, yeah, that helps yeah, with the balance. You know, but that's not natural. So we can we can alkaline alkalize uh, some tap water. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that's still not what that is. You know. Right. So we want uh, spring water. You know, spring water. It naturally comes from the earth. It's naturally alkaline, uh, depending on where you're getting it from. And, um, you know, it naturally has minerals, you know. Okay. And they tell us that we need protein, protein, protein. But our bodies really need minerals, you know what I'm saying? So, because uh, that's what our bodies are made out of. We're made out of, like, 102 minerals, you know what I'm saying? You ain't never heard of nobody being in the hospital because they ain't got enough protein. Protein, right, you know what right, I'm right, right, right. That's ain't an never attitude. Heard that. That's something they add. Well, uh, I'm saying, like, it's, it's something that they marketing to us and telling us that we need just so they can sell meat, basically. Just mm-hmm. for us to, um, yeah. you know, buy meat, you know. Because, like I said, like, you hear people that's iron deficient. You hear people that don't have enough iron or then they become anemic, you know right. what I'm saying. Or you have people that um, 
don't get enough vitamin D or calcium, and you know, somehow with their bones right. or whatever, or they mood and stuff like that. But you ain't never heard a nigga, you know what I'm saying, not getting enough protein. protein yeah. Hey yeah, man, that's I'm, kinda, yeah, that's what I mean saying? by attitude. That's crazy, though. So, so what are um, alkalinic food? Is it alkalinic foods or well, alkaline? Alkaline foods. Yeah. You know, so uh, there's a guy by the name of Dr. Sabi. You know what I'm saying, if y'all know this guy, yeah, should Dr. Sabi. Yeah. 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 Yeah, definitely do the research it. on him, like in-depth research. You know, his story is very inspiring. Um, you know, be him being a black male, uh, not having formal education, but him going up against the Supreme Court because they tried to sue him, you know, because he, he said he cured this and that or whatever. Right. And he went AIDS, up against was it AIDS, him. right? Um, AIDS, man, herpes, a long list of stuff. You know what I'm saying? A long list of stuff that tell us is irreversible. You feel me? Diabetes. Well, you name it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he went up against the, the Supreme Court and won this case, you know what I'm saying? But he never had formal education. He wasn't a lawyer, but he was able to prove his his, his regimen, you know what I'm saying? And so, it worked. Yeah, so, uh, but you know, and it's not like a cure, you feel me? It's not some pill or something you take. It's a lifestyle, you know, it's a diet. And uh, so he created a nutritional guide. And um, it's a long list, of, or it's really a relatively short list of different items, foods you want to eat. Um, and anything on that list you probably want to uh, avoid, such as potatoes, because they're starch. They contribute uh, to diabetes more so than sugar oh, and stuff. Oh, potatoes. Oh, my God. Right. Yeah, man. You know, and they tell us that, you know, sugar is what causes um, diabetes, and that's not necessarily true. You know what I'm saying? It's that starch. It's the potato. It's the it's the pasta, the wheat. You understand me? It's it, the cereal, the Got them the whole lifestyle that we live. Right. You feel me? Serious. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, even that. Yeah, and, and and we think that a lot of this shit is generational. You feel me? But but what's more generational or what's more passed down than diseases is the traditions, the habits, the lifestyle, the plates, the recipes. That shit is passed down, and that's what's perpetuating these generational curses. Not that your not your genetics. Not you know what I'm saying. It's the lifestyle. The, the lifestyle, lifestyle that we pass down. The tradition, yeah, yeah, the culture, the soul food right. shit. Like, we know in 2021, my nigga, like, soul food is, like, it might taste good, you know what I'm saying? It's it tastes delicious. good in a bit. Yeah, you feel me? But that shit is not good for you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's because you got, you, you, we live in beings. You alive, right. you know what I'm saying? You like, that's like putting goddamn me, um, dookie in your car, my nigga. <laughs> Shit ain't gonna go. Gonna run. This shit ain't gonna run right. This shit ain't gonna run right. Nah, but this, this, this shit it, literally it, is not gonna run right. It's, it's, it's not. But you been. It, this is more so uh, pertinent than a goddamn car because you're a living being mm -hmm. and you're putting trash in your body, a dead things in your body, expecting life, expecting mm -hmm. it to give you life. You putting dead things in your body and expecting it. Nigga, you using to your body you as life. a trash can. Oh man, and you wonder why you ain't got no energy. You putting a dead carcass, my nigga, right. in your mouth and supposed to use that to fuel your body and wondering why you tired. I had some rib earlier today. Man, hey, man, goddamn me. A, a rib. Nigga, yeah. imagine some chewing on your goddamn rib, bro. <laughs> you eating a nigga rib, fool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, that's real life. shit, bro. Man, nah, <laughs> and what's crazy is, like, they separate. We so separated from, like, the, the food-making, prep preparing process. We not out there butchering these ki these uh Animals, cows. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We not around that blood and around them guts and having to dispose the body parts and all of that properly. Cause if we was that intimate with the process, a lot of us wouldn't be even really be dealing with that shit. You know what mm. I'm saying? We would we'll be doing uh, now. Don't get it twisted. It, it will be people. It's people that do that. You know what I'm saying? But the majority of us, the most we get to see some blood or some red shit on a on an animal is. Ketchup, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's hot sauce. Hot, hot sauce. sauce. You know what I'm saying? Hot but nah, sauce. my nigga, you, that that chicken, that fried chicken, that rib, that pepperoni slice on your goddamn pizza, nigga, was a living organism, a living being that got killed, that got murdered. And and, and we when we know like when your body undergoes stress, you know what I'm saying? It releases chemicals in the in the body. And same thing with the animals, my nigga, you eating that. Uh, that same chemical, those chemicals, those stress thing hormones. That they giving them, yeah, yeah. Well, or that, know, that they have. Well, that they're giving them too. We ain't even we ain't even mention that yet. I'm talking about the stress response from the conditions that the animals is in. That is responsive, uh, a chemical response in the body. Yeah. Chemicals are going in the body. You know, a stress chemical cortisol 
is stress. It's a chemical in your body. Every time you go through a stressful situation, that's going in your body. Shit. You feel me? But you eating that in an animal that had that shit before he died, and you putting that shit in your shit. Man. But anyway, man. Well, yeah, so yeah, that, that's that alkaline. Casket, that's the, you know so that's, that's alkaline right there. That's, 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 that's the introduction <laughs> we to We went that. a little extra. We went a little Yeah, no, no, no. I, nah, I love it. That the yeah. info is, is needed. And um, I think that what we always want to do, you know, when it comes to being in the yo is uh, kind of bring something somebody don't know, like some, some to the forefront that even if it's just an idea. So it's like, you know, we don't want to tell them, you know, somebody what to do. Right. But I can tell you a couple things that I've done that helped. Like now now with that with that alkaline, um, I know we was talking a little bit earlier about this. Um, you have the you have a whole store. Mm-hmm. So so what is your like what is it what 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 can they find at the store? Man, you know, uh different herbs like sea moss, you know, um elderberry, you know, different Different health products, you know what I'm saying. You have also, the seeds, of el- the elderberry, like the just the, the yeah. I got the, the elderberry, elderberry seeds. you know what I'm saying. What they berries, you know what I'm saying. So All right, like, berries, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we got the dry berries. We got the uh, the syrup, elderberry syrup. We got elderberry infused sea moss. So we got a large selection of items. You know what I'm saying. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of people, uh, black people specifically. Uh, even though we have other customers too, but they really depend on what we got going on. You know what I'm saying. And we really like the only place that you can just pull up and get these type of items like that. You know so what I'm saying? The, the, the actual trap. Nah, for real. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the trap, huh? Nah, yeah, Ain't yeah, that what yeah. you call it? That's, yeah, that nah, way, that's what it is. Yeah, it's yeah the we trap. bagging up big ounces of, of herbs yeah, yeah, and medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bagging but, but shipping. How long, yeah. you been, how long you been living like that type of lifestyle? Man, you know, it's definitely been a journey, but I kind of started my journey like 2016. You know what I'm saying? All right. You know, 2016. So I, I ain't grew up like this, Four, five, you know? Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's been a process, been a journey uh, through that. You know, I've been involved in, and I've been seeing, you know, benefits. You know what I'm saying? Uh, personally, I it used to be real sluggish. You know what I'm saying? Be a low energy, you know what I'm saying? Go to sleep uh, a, a large portion of the day. You know what I'm saying? And I just felt like, you know, shit, that, that shit wasn't cool, especially, you know, when I'm out here doing stuff. So, wow. like, you know. So your energy did pick up. That's a, that's oh, one of the yeah. other benefits yeah. of it. Oh, yeah. And I mean, like, Tremendously, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm like speaking from. I used to be one of those niggas that be in the bed a long time. You know what I'm saying? What What's that? Um, like that that period between, like, being unhealthy and healthy, like, like going into it. Like, how was that period? Because I know that's f- for me. A lot of times I'll be like, man, shit, I don't know if I can keep going without this sandwich. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, bro, these, like... These cookies. You man, know what you can really do it, bro. Like, to be honest, bro, like, if people try... And, and it's like, bro, we in 2021. It's like, around 2016, like, a few years ago, like, that should have been hard. But, like, it's it's plenty of restaurants. If you want to, you know, go that route, you know what I'm saying, be the transition person, anything that you eat, uh, normally, they got a vegan version of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that should be scary. Like... I don't, I don't be liking like non meat meat. You know what I'm saying? Disgusting. I mean, I don't know nah, what type nah. of non meat meat y'all been eating, but like it's some good shit out there. You know what I'm saying? Nah, these plant based burgers. Give, give, I mean, give me one good restaurant that, that I can that I I'm gonna I'm go try, try and I'm gonna go make sure I, I, I let the people know that I tried it. Right, and it's not like don't get it twisted. Like you know what I'm saying? If y'all ate like some of my shit, like it's alkaline. You know what I'm saying? Well, shit, it's, nigga, it's, if that's the restaurant you re- recommend, nah, that's but, where but, we going. But look, and nah, nah, for sure, pull up. But you know what I'm saying? It's like levels to this vegan shit. So like, okay, we don't only alkaline vegan restaurant or you know a vegan option, and when it comes to food in the in the state, damn near mm. in the country, it's only a handful in the country. You feel me? But um, outside of that, um, you know, if you ain't trying to go that extreme, there's another black-owned spot called uh, Vegan Food House. Vegan you know what I'm Food saying? House. You know, uh-huh. that's that's another good one. But it's also vegan chefs, you know what I'm saying, that they can make you meals. Like, bro, like, nowadays, food, like, I'm telling you, my nigga, like, it's so easy to go vegan. You feel me? Y- 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 y'all serve food, you saying, at, yeah, your, like, at your joint, too? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, on the weekends, you feel me? Okay. Uh, during the week, if you call us, you know we'll uh, we'll do an order. But right now, we cook it on the weekend. What was that bowl bowl joint? Oh, chick that the lady had like a pineapple looking thing. She had yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know that was you know um, that was what we call the ashpagash. It's like a um, garbanzo bean kind of like uh, gumbo dish. You know what I'm saying we just use the bowl for presentation purposes. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
that's a very that's a real deal. So uh, <clears throat> music wise, how do you like uh, go about? intertwining your lifestyle and that because the music business ain't really about listening to a nigga who you know talking about like hey I got some good alkaline here for you I got some good sea moss for you you know what I'm saying how do you intertwine those two well um I mean you know I just be me really you know what I'm saying I was doing music before I did you know what I'm saying like any of this like I just started selling herbs like Actually, like, February last year, you know, and it just kind of took off, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But in my music, like, I just talk about real life, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't necessarily talk about, you know, herbs and alkaline in my music, you know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of talk about, like, real life, uh, you know, uh, situations, talk about poverty, you know, because that's what I relate to. That's, like, where I, where I come from, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, shit, I just talk about real life, and I, I talk to the youth. I talk to young niggas, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the time... Um, Shit, we don't got no big homie that's, you know what I'm saying, putting us on game, trying to make us step our game up, so I try to be that, that person. So you, like, you used to be poor? Like, you used to be in... Nigga, last year, nigga, I was sleeping outside. Yeah, you talking about, you know Nigga, congratulations, man. Last year, yeah. so, you yeah, know, big, big, when big, When niggas big, talk big about getting little. it out the mud, like, nigga, I really got it out the nigga. But when you say bottom. sleeping outside, like, was it a choice? Like, man, I ain't finna go inside nah, this person's nigga, house, like, or was it like, nah, I ain't got no place to stay. I gotta nah, sleep nigga, outside. Like, so what, what part of me on my... Put me on this journey though it's like you know what i'm saying like like pretty much but like both my parents died you know what i'm saying when i was a young nigga you know what i'm it's saying yeah but but a cancer you know what i'm saying yeah. and then so i was one of the people like at the time that thought you know this shit generational so yeah. i mean gen genetic you know what i'm saying and, uh i'm gonna go out like that and i ain't want to you know what i'm saying so anyway through my study i found out that um you know just the same shit i was kicking to y'all that it's not necessarily uh, genetic. It, it's, it's a lifestyle. Yeah, so, you know, I switched my shit up. But, you know, that's the same stuff that makes me passionate about what I do today. You feel me? Uh, being able to help other people. Because I feel like, shit, if I knew this game back, knew this uh, information I knew back then, or if my people had somebody in the environment that knew, they might be here today or might have been here a little longer. But, you know, to hear other people, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, say this helped them and help their people or whatever, you know, that shit make, you know, make, it's real personal to me, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, me being outside and shit like that kind of stems from that. Like, I don't got no, you know what I'm saying, kinfo or whatever and, and, and shit like that. So, you know, shit, nigga, I'm out here by myself, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, you ain't got nobody. So you you originally from here, from mm -hmm. Dallas? Yeah. Yeah. And you just, that was just the extent of your people, just your pops and your moms is pretty, pretty much the extent of the family. I mean, you know, to it, we got, like, I got people in my family, but shit, like, if I'm 17, like, you know, with no parents, and I ain't gonna yeah. bring a nigga in, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, uh, nah, I don't got no family, so, you know, that's how I look at it, but, you know, my little sister <coughs> and my niece and her kids, that's like my family, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. All right, bet, bet. Shout out to the family that we do have, man. I feel like uh, yeah, yeah. that's one of those things. It's kind of like uh, when, when you talk about changing that, that body, you know, that, that kind of that spirit that come with it sometimes, you know what I'm saying? That spirit that comes with it, you right. know what I'm saying? As far as, like, um, being, <clears throat> changing some of those processes that have, that have happened to us, you know what I'm saying? Because that doesn't happen. We done been into some shit to where our moms didn't treat us right. Our, you know, our, they didn't they didn't um, indulge in their family the same way, you know what I'm saying? But, uh Oh, that's big, bro, and that's that's incredible to hear. So, um, but see, niggas be like, you know what I'm saying? We be talking, like, I be talking to people, or I be in situations or conversation, and niggas, you know, they a lot of people have a lot of criticism towards the youth and what young people do, you know what I'm saying? Especially nowadays, and they be like, well, it's just about the parents, and you got to blame the parents, the parents, you know, this and that, but it's like. Nigga, it's kids that's raising they self, you know what I'm saying? It's kids that don't got parents, or it's kids that parents is locked up or in jail or some shit, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, you know, I just feel like, you know, people got to take accountability uh, in they self and, and that we, as individuals, we are influential, you know what I'm saying? We don't know who looking up to us, whether that's our little brother or our little sister or shit, the nigga across the street or the, the young cat uh, or somebody on social media, you know what I'm saying? So... I just feel like, you know, uh, shit, we just got to step our game up and, and uh, you know, take stuff like that in consideration. And that's kind of the stuff I kick in my music, you know. Yeah, nah, and that, that's all I was just going to say. What's, what's one of your, um, 
what song would you recommend to the people if they if you wanted them to have like the best introduction to you? Because I know Papaya is one of my favorite joints, but it's bas- basically one of those joints that you got to kind of know uh, already the flavor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, what's what's one that you would recommend for the people? I mean, shit, you know, I got a few of them, you know what I'm saying? I just say shit, you know, I like Start Papaya. T- yeah, okay. Yeah, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just sit, try to get in where you fit in, man. You know, Papaya, that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh uh, man, hold up. That's another one. One that put me on the map man, was hold uh, up. Yeah, one, uh, what up, um? You know what I'm saying? That put me in the game. Yeah. Uh, Black Power between Black Power and what up, um? That was that, ain't, ain't, that, ain't that a tattoo? That that uh, that, oh, that yeah, what yeah, up, yeah, um? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. big man. Yeah. That's, a, that's fresh. Hey, um, speaking of that though, like I saw you, um, I think you had a, I think it's a track you had with uh, um. Pharaoh mm-hmm. and um, Sarah, Sarah Sudam Seti. Yeah. How'd you uh, link that up? Uh, really, shit. You know, long story short, bro, like, uh, you know, uh, I used to travel with them. Like, you know, Seti had heard one of my songs, that Black Power, he had came to Fort Worth. You know, I did the show, shut it down, with you woo and shit. Ever since, you know, he was like, man, you want to uh, open up, you know, and any of my, my shows, shit, you get the ticket, you can come and. I just got my ticket, and you know that that particular day we was in uh, L.A. in Compton, uh, and shit. We just you know it was just natural. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. That's a good one. I also seen you on uh, side by side with Brother Ben X. Mm-hmm. So that's some, some major moves right there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Did that like? How did how did that that side of you start getting into politics? Uh, really, like, you know, I've been, like, on some, like, some grassroots, like, activist community shit, just, you know, trying to do what I can to help people, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. Uh, and so, you know, it just kind of evolved through, you know, doing it for years and being on the militant side with the armed patrols, with the guns and shutting down stores and all type of shit, bro. I've been a part of a lot uh, of maneuvers. Man. Uh, even, you know, the KKK coming to, uh, trying to come to South Dallas at the mosque. You know, we shut their ass down. Um, <laughs> that just, one where you was getting that money from uh, all the white people. Oh, no, that was, that was George Floyd. You know, I got a long history and shit. That shit know? was like, funny. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah,
it's a vacation to you. It's a time off from your. Don't write it off. Whatever, nigga. I don't know. All I'm saying is, my nigga, it takes resources to go fly across the country to somewhere to go see a nigga and see where a nigga got killed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then so y'all coming over here and taking photos, but when you go back home, nigga, you you white, you still live in your community. But when I go back home, nigga, I'm still subject to this shit. You know what I'm saying? This is just a photo shoot to y'all, but this is my life. You know what I'm saying? Right. This is our reality. So I ain't like that shit. And I was just like, nigga, I don't give a fuck who hear me and who shit. You know what I'm saying? So I just got out there and started talking shit. Yeah. That shit was funny, though. Yeah, it was. But no, no, no. We was talking about like how you like getting into the politics part about it though. Oh, as far um, as you transforming and going from you know that side of it, yeah, 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 yeah. You was on to where you like shit. I'm finna let me get. But shit, that was after politics though. But oh, but okay. um, but now nah, don't get it twisted because like politics, like bro, like I'm not a politician. You know what I'm saying it's gonna first and foremost. I'm not a politician. I'm a brother. From the street, like I'm, 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 music, I'm a musician. I'd rather be rapping. I'd rather be doing stuff, but doing other stuff. But you know, it, it takes one time in a man's life to say, "Well, shit." If I don't like this trash in my my environment, I gotta pick it up. I can't just be blaming the trash when I can walk over it or I can pick it up. So I felt like I need to take leadership. You know what I'm saying? I ain't right. seen nobody else doing this. So shit, you know, I'm gonna do it. The nigga who in office, the people who is in office. They not doing it, so shit, I'm going to do it. I believe in myself. I don't believe in politicians. You know what I'm saying? Right. I ain't believe in voting or none of that. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I believe right. in myself. And I know if I get in office, I'm going to do the right thing. Y'all can't buy me. I got my own money. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't need y'all. I got my own thing going. Uh, even then, shit, like I, was, like I was running. When I was running, shit, I was broke the last time I was running. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, kind of changed my life. You know what I'm saying? Uh you know, last year or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, me, it ain't it ain't about the money. And and it, they not really making that much money, you know what I'm saying? Politicians, yeah. So, like, when yeah. you started out, what was your message to whomever? Like, what was your... My message was like, bro, like, we were standing on strong uh, police accountability. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when, when there's police brutality situation, like, we're on, we're on their neck. Like, we need to know what's going on. So, we were pushing for a uh, citizen's police review board, which passed. It was uh, people in the community, like uh, Changa, a brother named Changa. Uh, he was pushing for that. I was advocating for him. We was also, uh, what else we were doing? Uh, you know, they passed the ordinance uh, at the time to, you know, basically criminalize the kids for being outside, basically juvenile curfew for mm-hmm. being outside after a certain time. I was uh, advocating against that. Um you know, economic, uh, you know, uh, inclusion for black businesses, specifically black businesses, you know what I'm saying? Not minorities, none of that. We need to increase the contracts that uh, black people have with the city and things of that nature. So uh, I'm also getting youth, like, skills and vocational centers where, they, where we, we can learn how to break down an engine or we can learn how to uh, set up, uh, uh, you know, PA systems mm-hmm. and, and uh, engineering stuff right in our neighborhood, though, you know what I'm saying, to where – we ain't gotta go to the Carrollton or Farmers Branch or the whole or Media Tech or something. We can do it right in our neighborhood. You feel me? Yeah. Um, so that's the kind of stuff I was pushing. Um, and, and that was, was twenty nineteen, right? Uh, twenty. Uh, yeah, twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. Yeah. 2019, exactly. yeah. yeah. Um, has the, has the message changed since then? Any? Nah, man. Like the message is pretty much the same. Uh, the message is pretty much the same. It's just you know how I communicate it to different audiences. You know. Old folks want to hear a different. They kind of more focused on security, you know what I'm saying, uh, and feeling safe. You know, um, uh, other people is more so focused on you know economics. You know what I'm saying. So it's just about you know, uh, you know, like we're diverse people. We have diverse issues. Right. Um, it's just you know trying to uh, listen to everybody and you know seeing what we can do where we can meet everybody in the middle. Or, or, is, or my thing is really the forgotten community. You know what I'm saying, building a forgotten community up. And um, Dallas has historically been pro business over the people. Devontae D. Peter is gonna put the people over the business. You see, D, I can dig it. It's straight. Hey, so, oh, bet with no. Nah, with that being said, though, so in in twenty nineteen, you got about three hundred votes. Mm-hmm. How are you gonna increase your um, presence to the people. Um, well, shoot, sure, like, last time, I know my strategy, um, like, I was just jumping in, you feel me? Uh, mm-hmm. I learned that, you know, it's 
each district is broken up of precincts, you know. I only hit three precincts, so I kind of average like, 100 votes a precinct almost, you feel right. me? Um, so this time, like, it's three out of 400, or excuse me, 40 precincts. So basically hit more precincts, hit more neighborhoods, um, you know, knock on the doors, get teams of people to get out there and hit the streets with me, you know what I'm saying? You got to make more people, white people feel good to so you get more money. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Budget. Say that, you know what I'm right. saying? Nah, facts, you know, <laughs> yeah. that's really the game. More right? votes, yeah. you did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to just do what I can. We'll do what I got to do and, and, and strategize and just think outside the box. All right. That's a bet. That's a bet. So and when is the um the vote taking place? Uh, May 1st. When should people be getting out there? Yeah, May 1st. May 1st. Yeah, that's the, the election day. You know what I'm saying? So holla at me. My, my district is uh District 8. That comprises Woodtown, Highland Hills, a part of the Grove, uh, uh, Redburg. Uh, Gannon, Westmoreland, G Lane, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, uh, that's, that's like, oh, a cool. Carter that's area, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So it's, it's it's a wide area, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's nice. Yeah. So if you're out there, man, hey, get down with your brother Devontae D Peters. Put me on, put me up there, put me in the seat. Hey, so you need um, like you got your street team and shit together. How how would one? If they needed to get in touch with you so that they can be on the street team to help yeah. you push this, push your uh, movement and your message. Yeah, definitely reach out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they can hit me on Facebook, Devontae D. Peters. Uh, they can hit me on any of my social media platforms or just hit my line directly, 214-710-5772. You understand me? Uh, tap in because we're ready to work and you know, we do stuff all the time. You ever get put off social media? Uh, I mean, shit, every time I go viral, shit, they take my shit down. Like, uh, every time. Like, I, I'm how many sure. times you don't went viral? I'm sure. Man, like, well, like, viral, viral, I went uh twice. Like, one time we had millions of views, and in the morning, nigga, they took my shit down, bro. And then, uh, uh, the second time I had shit, that's, I don't know if y'all you know, like, in Glen Heights, where they called it, uh, the yeah, nigga, they nigga. The, 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 uh, the, they called it on the the dude who owned that shop out there. Yeah, uh huh. And called shit, what? Had, they called the police on the dude who's uh, on the shop for. He was, I he, think he called a lady a nigga or something. Yeah, he called a uh, young naughty. He called a rap nigga uh, a, a nigga, a nigga right? and told his mom nigga. to suck his dick. Yeah, some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 that was right there in Glen Heights. Yeah, so right I had went out Pookie there out tonight, nigga. Yeah, right? man. See, I have. I was even out there feeding the protesters and shit. Yeah, like that, that. yeah, I, I saw that shit. You know, but yeah, man. So like. Shit. So yeah, I had went viral that day and they took my shit down. Oh, oh, what about the one where you was talking to the uh that uh white dude? He was kind of flamboyant. You know what I'm saying? Out there ah, on the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That motherfucker. Some, <laughs> some Trump rally shit, I guess. You know, they just had me fucked up because that's talking <laughs> me crazy. And then shit, I was out there early. I was really uh you know um uh, uh shadowing John Wiley Price. He was putting me on some game about some stuff and mm -hmm. uh you know right outside his office. Um, they shit that was doing that, you know, and he called me a dumbass or something. And shit, I, I had an hour I ain't open my shop to an hour and thirty. Like, you was old as ass, man. So, so yeah, I gotta go back and look at some of that shit. You was yeah. old as ass, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't tolerate disrespect. On that shit that was shit, that shit was saying? funny. And then uh, the, uh, the lady had pulled up on y'all too. The, the the other lady that was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a lady that was there, white lady. Talking about if this was ten years ago, or yeah, something. yeah, like, you was like, you this is ten, yeah, yeah. yeah. What would you do? What would you, yeah, what what would you, you have done if yeah, it was ten years? Let's make sure we get this. Come <laughs> on, yeah, but it's real in the field, man. They got me like they got whole Facebook Front pages. Yeah. Nah, that say like uh, citizens against Dallas extreme. So they call me a Dallas extremist. Oh wow! So, oh, are, are you? Are you? Are, have they ever considered you a terrorist? Uh, I said not yet. They considered one of my partners a terrorist. Oh wow! You know he went to the feds and everything. The uh, dude who, um started what's the name of that? I can't even think of the name of it. Probably That's yeah. The gun. Yeah. Um, ah shit! It was in my mind. Hey, so I what you think about this that shit that happened at the Capitol? Like, do you give a fuck? I mean, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Shit, that ain't my shit. Like, you know, white people, shit. <laughs> white peopleing and. I think that's like the sentiment across shit. every black person. Like, dude, I mean, that's they shit. But dude. I will say, like, on a serious note, though, like, that do show you something. Like, like it, it show you shit on multiple levels. But, like, th th 
the thing I'm focusing on is like my nigga, like, bro, you how the how they was talking, bro. Man. How they when we was growing up, my nigga, you think ISIS would have did that shit? You know what I'm saying? Man. You think some nigga, uh, Al Qaeda, Taliban, nigga, niggas with shit that you wearing on your head? You think them niggas would have did that? Hey. You feel me? Hey, niggas was walk. They was walking up out that bitch. <laughs> Everything. Bruh. Let me add this whole thing. Look at somebody's speech, man. I'm talking about speech. They say give me my speech back, bruh. man. This is for this is for my stove. This is my but, speech. Nah, but like that shit crazy as fuck. Like you would really think like some Iraqi niggas would do it. Yeah, these are white men. On, they was on and their women. Ass. You feel me? So like and but if you can do that to the capital, like that's supposed to be like the most sacred structure in the country on some shit. You know what I'm saying? And how they did that, but like my nigga. That shit just so black people, but this whole shit a joke, my nigga. But we need to do our own shit, bro. When the I president like, a joke. I feel like Trump been show this shit was a joke. He did. He, he did. been shitting on what they call the Constitution for a long Come ass on, time. Bro. Come on, bro. Yes, it is. But shit, the Constitution say we three-fifths of a, a, man, a, a, a human, and we always fighting for equality. How are we going to be equal to a nigga that feel like we three-fifths of him? So, you know so, so we shouldn't even, so as far as constitution-wise. Nigga, that ain't our shit. That's yeah. their shit. Get a, get, get, let them live by their shit. Abiding in the law of somebody who's trying to enslave you is a little tough, ain't it? I mean, yeah, but shit, you know, like, yeah, it is tough. You know what I'm saying? But the laws ain't created for us. The laws is created for them. And, and like, hundreds and two hundreds or however many hundreds of years, we see that, yeah, this shit is working for them. You know what I'm saying? We see, yeah, a century later, after we enslaved, yeah, this is why white people is living the way they live in today. You know what I'm saying? Because of the shit their forefathers set up for their ass. You know what I'm saying? The Bill of Rights and all that shit wasn't for us. We technically, we only free due to the 13th Amendment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the only way. If, the, if they didn't, if they amend, the, amend that shit, the Bill of Rights, to where the 13th Amendment is null and void, nigga, we back into slavery legally. You understand me? So, but that's not, that doesn't, that's not um, relevant. That's that's not, white people are not bound to that. That's for us. That's for niggas. You know what I'm saying? White people are, are, are this country was created for them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Is, that, is that what that kind of showed us? What just happened? How they was able to well, do that? Well, the way they we was, was treated, the yeah. way they was um, not... You know what I'm saying? Shit came down with the iron fist. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That shows them, yeah, that they have privilege. They went and picked up people at their crib. They 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 let them run up out the run mm-hmm. up out the capital. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're gonna pick y'all up later. Don't worry. Yeah. Go home. Go home and tell your kids. Yeah. You know, where where yeah. in other cases, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, they're gonna blast your face. They're gonna show you with guns. Uh you smoking weed, yeah. all on the news and make them look bad. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So so you know it's it's a difference the way that they that they uh you know handle us and the way they treat us and portray us. Mm-hmm. But what it is is like if you think about it in terms of they have marketed the idea of black people are the most terrible heinous things creatures on the face of the planet. But nigga, look at what y'all did in the capital. Y'all mm-hmm. would think niggas would have did some shit like that. You Man. feel me? So like I feel like that kind of show also like nigga y'all been lying, bro. Like y'all been like y'all act like black people, black men is the most scariest things, nigga. Ready to snap, ready to do anything at any moment. Nah, nigga, that's y'all, nigga. Niggas and climbing walls, man. Walls, bro. Fucking Spider Man. Niggas climbing walls, man. Spider Man, bro. How, how, now on, on that part, like on some shit for us, you know what I'm saying? What type of things should we be doing? Because if they gonna do that shit to the capital, what are they gonna do to? When it comes to taking back certain things, they feel like the other areas of that's of ours. That's ours. I'm saying of ours. I mean, shit, bro. How I look at it, bro, it's like, my nigga, you got to own land. If you don't own the ground you stand on and can't control it, then shit, you can be pushed off and killed and whatever. You can be pushed wherever you need to be. So, black people, we need land. We need, uh, uh, you know, the means to work the land and and build our own structures. We also need to be able to produce our own food so we're not dependent. Just like the quarantine uh, last March and during that period showed us that anything can happen at any time. And we don't know if the trucks is going to be able to put the food in the goddamn Mm -hmm. grocery store. That shit would be sold out. And then what we going to do? 
And we we already see it already happened. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we're not talking about no far fetched shit. You know what I'm saying? So the stores and the shit is sold out again in March. Nigga, what we gonna say? Oh, we we not prepared. So we right. need to be able to p- produce our own food. Period. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, from there we'll figure everything else out. But if we don't got our own food, our our, our tool, uh, our own land, and our tools to work that land and build our own schools, homes, and and the knowledge and all of that, then we ain't talking about shit. It's like during like after slavery, that's what the freed slaves, the niggas who was who didn't know how to learn, who ain't had no degrees and all of that shit, they their concept for freedom. First, they had to think about what is freedom. Like, niggas like, oh, we don't think about that shit. We think yeah. about other shit. But at that time, they was like, what is freedom? Freedom was the ability to have land, to work that motherfucker, and and that was it. That's basically it. And, right. and everything else will come. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like black people need to get back to figuring out what our concept of freedom is. Is it, I you know? Agree. I agree. When they, But what happened when they declare martial law? Do, they, do that shit even matter? Are they going to come in there and take what's yours anyway? They got they get it they get the house in your shit. I mean, like everybody got kind of like a different concept of martial law. You know what I'm saying? Like martial law. Like think about it. Like if you got niggas in East Texas, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like martial law would be more effective in the city. But when you got niggas in the country, you right. got niggas with that's land. niggas spread, with spread land. out. You feel me? Like it's it's not the same concept. So you know, I feel like. To a degree, and then you know me, like I come from like that mili- militant background. Like I'm gonna always tell people to train, to shoot, go to the uh, gun range, right. uh, uh, do all of that, learn how to protect yourself and your family. Because as as, as long as you waiting on somebody to do something for you, whether that's the government, the police, uh, another man, or uh, your favorite celebrity, like buddy, like you gonna be fucked. So you know we have to be True able that. to to, to um, protect ourselves and to protect our v- investment of our life on and our life on all levels at all times. So, and you can't do that with somebody controlling your food, your education, and your shelter. You see all the time people is getting evicted during a global pandemic. People is getting evicted when they have um uh, ordinances or I'm not that's not the right word, but they have ordinances basically um to where you're not supposed to be getting evicted right now. Right. But people are still getting evicted right now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but that goes back down to not owning land. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's what I feel like should be focused on yeah so if y'all make sure y'all y'all got all that you did you gotta own land you did, you gotta have the resources for that land as well you gotta protect your shit yeah. you gotta protect Thanks. your shit you gotta, you gotta be ready you know what i'm nice. saying look let's look alive it's a new day that's shit. my boy my, yeah. uh poe would say you know what i'm saying but, but i'm not we really appreciate you coming through bro um yeah. We want to make sure that we also get a blessing from the music side of you. You know what I'm saying? At one point, so y'all be on the lookout for that. You know what I mean, brother? Shout me, yo. Where, where you recording at now? I um, mean, I got, I got, you know, different situations. Uh, you know, working on just building my own shit. Bet, 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 bet. Ain't nothing better than something at home. You did, but yeah, you got some pulled up for us, big homie, yeah. so we can ride out, man. Shit, I'm trying to get it pulled up. I know that's right. But, yeah, man, I appreciate you coming through. I wish we'd have um, had some um, vegan, shady treats, who's our sponsor for the day. Shady treats, you did. She, she working on a vegan recipe, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she can call them hoes shout bread cookies. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? The shout bread. She shout bread <laughs> cookies, yeah. you did. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? <laughs> I'll make sure I throw that idea out there. Yeah. I'll be trying to help her, you know, diversify because um, she, she's definitely good at baking. It, it, it wouldn't help. It wouldn't hurt for her to know a little, you know, to add a little bit more of some, some genuine flavor to people's life by having, like, right. some vegan treats. Are, 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 are there good vegan treats out there, like um, snacks? You know, me, like, I, I make my own type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, right. so. so. Okay, then, so there is a market for it. Right, man. Make yeah. sure we shout out to Shady Treats. Shady yeah. Treats. I need my cookies. <laughs> oh, you disowned. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. So I-
I just let my mama how she told me be great. I just let my baby how she told me be safe. I just let my partner how she picked me up at eight. Before I walked away, he told me keep it tucked away. I just let my granny how she picked me up a plate. Yeah, rest in peace to Birdie. Bet that cash, I'm up early. Early morning serving in the field like I'm Irving. Shit never perfect. Wildlife, Steve Irving.